This morning we are in Goslar. I've got to come up with some different words other than charming and beautiful and <sighs> this is a wonderful place. If you love strolling through half-timbered villages with a little stream to one side, you might even be able to hear it in the background there, taking in beautiful sights. It's, it's just lovely. The, the town here is a mixture of half-timbered buildings and then buildings that have been sided in gray st slate. It's amazing the detail that, that they put into the slate work. So We are having a wonderful time this morning exploring Goslar. For hundreds of years, Goslar was a prosperous mining town and wealth poured in from the silver mine of Rommelsberg just on the edge of town. This is a site you shouldn't miss, by the way, when you're here. While walking, you'll find street after street of beautifully carved, half-timbered houses. In fact, this town has the largest number of old houses in Germany, 1,800 of them at last count. This little town was one of the most important in Germany for centuries. For about 300 years, the Holy Roman Emperors made this city their home. And it was a major source of copper during the Middle Ages, too. No wonder it was so wealthy. We're lucky that Goslar survived the Second World War and ended up in West Germany because it was maintained much better than many of the other towns in the Harz Mountains. I'd suggest taking a car tour through this area to see Goslar as well as the rest of this beautiful region, including the town of Quedlinburg, just down the road a bit. Another amazing bit of preserved history. If you like this kind of content, make sure to subscribe. Don't forget to click that bell icon so you'll be notified whenever we put up new content. Also, like and share if you're of a mind. Thanks, we do appreciate it.